Good morning, addicts and cheers. It's the 4th of March. It's supposed to be a spring. Sounds like a spring. Looks like winter. Well, anyways, we're still chasing salmon and sea trout. And today we're supposed to have a snowstorm and high winds and whatever. So I've decided to ditch the large river and I came to the small one. I parked my car where I thought I'm gonna end the day and I pushed upstream as far as I can go. And now I'm gonna go downstream and try to catch a fish or two, hopefully, because it's been a while. And as I told you, I have a few reviews this year and the first one is today. And what a better way to start it than with the probably the rarest spinnings for salmon and sea trout fishing. If not the rarest, at least in top three. But this one is the one people are chasing around and they are ready to pay way over thousand euros for it. And it's practically impossible to get. Guess what it is? The bait, Dua Deep Fit 83 MD. Take off my gloves on this fella. One hook. Maybe he is legal. Somewhere close. 
so finally we managed to catch a fish with something that I was testing. That's one in the books. But it was a 65 centimeter, not a big one, but it's legal at least. It didn't give me a much of fight, even though there was a strong current in that spot, but it took about one minute for me to take it out, so it was fast. This thing, according to a lot of folks who fishes salmon and sea trout for a very long time, is kind of a holy grail of the rods for salmon fishing. What can I tell you about the rod? Well, it's lacking all the modern things. It is a Fuji guides, but they are not titanium, the inserts are not torsite. The magic of this rod, according to a lot of people, is the blank and how it holds the fish. It feels more like a fly rod than a spinning actually. And it's really, really pleasant to use with a smaller bait, like Jackson Rogos, uh, all the pontoon house and crack jacks and all that kind of around eight or nine centimeters long. What else I can tell you is that a lot of people who buy this rod, they do change the guides to the torsite. Some are shortening the handle because it's pretty long and it goes out of your hand here and might be a problem for, for some. It's not really for me, at least for now. It's lightweight, feels like a modern sea bass rod but uh, the blank work is totally different. I would say it's a moderate fast action rod, not a true moderate. It bends somewhere from this first guide and with really big fish I feel like it will bend from somewhere here and that's why people want it because it will deal with that fish. You will hold this rod and it will compensate everything that that fish does. That's why this blank is so, so sold after. So, it's a lunch time now. Uh, hopefully another storm won't start until I'm done with my coffee and chocolate bar. And I will move downstream and try to catch something bigger. Welcome to the spring, my friends. Looks kind of ridiculous, doesn't it? Rainbow is what we're missing right now. I hope I'm in focus because I can't see my screen. Let's test the rod with some most popular lures and see how it deals with those larger ones. Dua deep feet. Uh, next, we hit the shore there. And we have a side wind. Rogos one oh five. Timon 88 floating version. That's the big question. Will it shoot out? It does. No questions there. Timon 88 sinking version. Strong side wind. Just for a good measure, one of the best working and worst flying baits. I would say 35, 30 to 35 meters 
easily. You saw what happened, and I mean, I'm not used to fishing with moderate fast rods that much. And still I can reach other shore here. It's like 50 meters across, so you can do the calculations more or less. And if paired with Torzite, this would be no worse casting rod than anything else I know. Even compared to my good old high tide Torzite, this will not be far away or even be as good as that one. So no questions there. Just know that this is not a full review. You cannot review a rod like that in one day. You need to spend a whole season with it, try different conditions, try different baits. I haven't tried any spoons with it. Uh, you need to land a few fish, bigger ones, smaller ones, strong stream, slow stream and so on to make uh, real conclusions. It's like a more first impressions video than a review. I talked about this rod with a person who has it, who is one of the best salmon fishing people I know. I mean, he catches quite a few of those. And he owns the rod for a couple of years, maybe longer, not sure. Uh, he said that this rod is too weak for him in the autumn, when the really, really big fish arrive. And meaning over one meter and over like 25 pounds and what he meant is that you will deal with the fish no problem uh, you can drive the fish and it will take those punches of the fish very well but when you need to lift the fish up from the bottom or when you're taking it out trying to land it and you need to lift the head, then it starts lacking a little bit of power because it starts to bend and you cannot really lift up that heavy fish. You will eventually do it, uh, it will just take more time. What that guy said is probably true, I tend to agree with him because he knows way more than I do. So my thoughts, I mean the legend is real. I love the thing. The handle is not too long for me. I love the length. Uh, it's good for those two-handed long casts. Definitely need to change the guides to the Torzites. Also larger diameter on the top guides, the very small ones, because they are too small for my liking. Future me here, one quick thing, real size. I would definitely use a reel of size 3000 with this rod. It's not that heavy, it's not front heavy. So Diva's Certate or Shimano's Stella of size 3000 would be perfect with it. You don't need to go crazy with those 4000 heavy reels. The thing is a beauty, it's a work of art. If I would compare this to my MR, that thing is a powerhouse, it's like Ford F-150 Raptor. And this one, this is your Porsche 911 Turbo or your Nissan GTR. This just brings so much pleasure and satisfaction while fishing. And if Arta will for some reason think that it's not for him, I will definitely take it. And if not, I will be hunting for one myself. Really enjoyed using it. The thing is amazing. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth a thousand or more euros. Probably not. But it really brings pleasure while using it. So that's been it from me. And I'll see you soon, I guess. Peace.